Can a Lockport man saved his wife's life once and he hopes he can do it again. All he needs is the right person to see and answer his plea. As Daybreak's Heather Lee shows us, he's trying anything he can do to find a kidney donor for his wife because he's got nothing to lose. And there are hundreds, if not thousands, of billboards all over western New York. Bright and flashing, signs about food, fright, and the lottery. But there's one in particular that's especially important. And if the right person sees it, that would be Connie's jackpot. But I really don't have a lot. Connie was diagnosed with lupus in 1989 when she was 26 and the disease began to attack her kidneys. She needed and received a transplant four years later. Her husband Renee gave her one of his kidneys at a time when living donor transplants weren't as common. It was like a light switch. I could do it and we did it. No looking back. And Renee wishes he could do it all over again. Because I know she'd help me. If I was in that situation. Connie's transplant kidney lasted 15 years until 2009. Medicine I was taking eventually did it in. <laughs> so they uh, put me back on the list. And she's been waiting for another kidney ever since. My blood had changed over the years from the first transplant. So it'll, the match would be harder. Connie does at-home dialysis four times a week, three hours each sitting. It's getting to be a problem to find a place to put a graft for the life-sustaining treatments. But this can only last for so long. Renee is desperate to find his wife a match and turn to spreading the word any way he can. Bumper stickers, shirts, flyers, and of course the billboard. I told him not to waste his money. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't about saving money. It's about saving a life. People have taken notice and called the transplant center in Syracuse, but so far there haven't been any eligible donors who are a match. I know a lot of people have taken a lot of time out of their days to try and help me. And I appreciate it all. But I really don't think it's going to she don't think it's going to happen. Because I'm a hard match. But I know it's possible. The billboard is rotated across western New York with the hope a new audience will see it and someone will help with a new kidney for Connie. If you can't help me, help somebody else. There's a lot of us out there. Now, Connie recently had some more medical setbacks, and again, time is not on her side here. She needs a match. She is in need of someone who has type B or type O blood, and it doesn't really matter positive or negative, but they're hoping that somebody sees that and potentially comes forward. Uh, here is another number. We want to make sure that we get this right here. It's on the bottom of your, of your screen. We'll also have this up on the website, area code 716-930-3385. You can call that or tech, uh, call or text the number on the billboard, and if somebody can come forward and donate, her health insurance will pay for the donor's medical bills. Oh, wow. wow. So they just need somebody, you know, who has it in their heart to donate. And we've heard of stories like this before, so it's not out of the question. But again, the right person needs to see that. And it's so sad to see that she's losing hope. And yes. That there is someone out there in the city of good neighbors or across the country or beyond and, yeah and come to her rescue yeah so but we'll put all the information at wgrz.com it's the power of social media you never know how far it could spread and we're hoping to have a good follow-up to this when she gets a donor